Nil Everton nil, mate. We needed a win today and we needed to convince them win and we didn't get it. It was rubbish. Rubbish from both teams. They were both two poor teams, two teams that are, you know, they're down there for a reason, you know, and we we are where we are in the table for a reason. I'm sick of this manager now. I'm so sick of him. I'm just his football, I don't know what his football is. I'm watching I don't know what is going on. Does he purposely tell them to go out there and just play slow football? Because it looks like he does, because that's all we do. It is so slow. And the chances we created today, two meh chances. The Ings one was the best one. Without Pickford for them, you know, it could have been could have been catastrophic for us. We, we could have ended up... I, I, we, the first half was awful. You know, it was from both teams, really, but... Everton are a team that we should be we should be attacking and the only player that was going out there to do that was Somerville. When you've got Ashley Young who's 38 years old, he should be taking him on every single time because Young's not going to be able to cope with it. He might be able to cope with it the first two, you know, two or three times, but after that he's, you know, he's going to be knackered. So I don't know why either Lopetegui's told him no, you know, we're going to build up slow again or or he's just I don't know why he didn't do it. So Frustrating, Antonio had enough of him. Get Ings in. Why? Why didn't Ings come on? You know, sooner. You know, it's just frustrating. Yeah, Ings is he's left on late. It's frustrating with Ings because, you know, he scored that that winner uh, the, or the equaliser against Fulham, and this was a great chance from kick on, and we barely saw him even off the bench. I don't know whether he just don't fancy Ings. You know, Fulkrug has got a mysterious injury, and he's just persisting with Antonio. Uh, Full Krug, I don't, when are we going to see him again? I, I don't know, just a random, I've sort of forgotten about him, but I don't think he fancied Ings at the start of the season. I think he probably would have got rid of him if it were up to him, but uh, that, that's no excuse. You know, Antonio, why do we keep persisting with him? How have we got to 2024, nearly in 2025, and that bloke is still our starting striker? It, it's beyond me. His first touch is dreadful. And he's getting worse with, you know, even his pace. It's, you know, he doesn't run. There was one point where I was just thinking, just run, just run. And he didn't. And it was, the, so, yeah. And, and it's not going to get any easier from here. Newcastle, Arsenal, it's not getting any easier. Yeah, and so, yeah, you look at it, yeah, them two fixtures, we lose those. We could really be looking like we're, we're on the cusp of the relegation zone. And that's frustrating because last season we gave the likes of Arsenal some good games in the Cup and in the league. So it's really frustrating to be saying now that, oh, well, we need to write that game off. I just, I don't know why it's gone. so. And, and the recruitment as well. After the recruitment, I would have thought that we'd be going into these games thinking we could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, toe -to -toe with these lot. But we can't because, and, uh, you know, I was hearing you talking about Kudus, you know, for me, Kudus was that poor when he was in the team that, you know, even when the likes of Alvarez, Kudus and that lot come back, I still don't give as much hope anyway because they weren't that good when they were playing before the suspensions anyway. It, it would help if he played Kudus in the right position, I think. There, there is that, there is that. I don't know why managers try and stick him out in, in, the, in the wrong positions. He said he's a 10, so play him in a 10 and stop. Like, Paqueta, stop playing. He needs, a, he, he needs to be taken out of the firing line because he's not, he's not performing. He's not performing well. His passes... His passes aren't coming off yet. We, we need to start playing Kudis in that 10, Bowen, Somerville, and Ings up top. Or I, I, I don't know, just just play that three. What, what do you think needs to be done? you think that the, the club need to admit defeat, get rid of Lopetegui, get a new manager in, or persist? Yes, get rid of him. Why are we waiting? All he's doing is prolonging the inevitable. He will end up going this season. I don't think he'll see the season out. Just get rid now. Get somebody in in the November uh, international break who can work with this team for a, you know two weeks and then kick on in the next few games after. I don't know why we're going to... Well, I do know why we're going to wait because Sullivan's stubborn. But all he's doing is prolonging the inevitable. We'll end up losing a few games in November, December... And, and then we'll be going, oh, why didn't we get rid? I just, I just, I just, it's so frustrating we're going to do this. Sullivan is so stubborn, he, he won't, he won't do it. He won't pull the trigger yet. Unfortunately, I think you're right there, mate, but hopefully we don't need to sack him and he just miraculously becomes great after the international break. We'll see. Yeah, that won't happen. <laughs> won't happen. Well, cheers, mate. We'll cheers. see. Thanks for coming on.